So for activity 6 of pages one, uh, 168, half equal or twice as, you will be answering items 1, 3, and 5 only, and I'll be answering the rest. So in circle F, uh, arc AB, or should I say segment AB, segment BC, segment CD, segment BD, and segment AC are chords. Use the figure and the given information to answer the following question. So for number one, sabi niya, which inscribed angles are congruent? You have to explain your answer. Yung answer sa number one, located siya dun sa dun sa lesson 1B na tutorial, nandun yung mga sagot doon. Kasi same figure lang. So, get your answer there. For number 2 naman, if the measurement of angle CBD is 54, what is the measurement of arc CD? So, let's begin answering number 2. So, for number 2, given natin, the measurement of angle CBD is equal to 54 degrees or 54 what is the measure of cd so based on the figure ito si angle cbd so angle cbd so in the given figure this is angle cbd okay so si angle cbd i inscribe angle now first things first anong kinalaman ni angle cbd kay arc CD. Okay. Si arc CD naman ay intercepted arc ni angle CBD. So, ibig sabihin, ang sukat ni CD ay twice as the sukat of angle CBD. So, the measurement of arc CD is twice as the measurement of angle CBD. Okay. So, solution natin. Kung ito ay 54, ilan si arc? Ito ay 54, ilan si arc CD? So, the measurement of arc CD is equal to twice the measurement of angle CBD. Bakit twice? Kasi siya ay inscribed to inscribe angle at ito ang kanyang intercepted arc. Okay? So, yun. Next, with that, 2 times 54, we have 108. Therefore, the measurement of arc CD, the degree measure of arc CD is 108. So, ayan. Tapos na yung number 2. Pakisagot si number 3. For number 4 naman, the measurement of angle ABD is equal to 5X plus 3 and the measurement of angles DCA is equal to 4X plus 10. Find the value of X, the measurement of angle ABD, the measurement of DCA, and the measurement of arc AD. So, Tignan muna natin yung given natin. Angle ABD. Angle ABD. Yun siya, yung naka-pink. Angle ABD. Ang sukat daw nito ay 5X plus 3. Next. We also have angle DCA. DCA. Uh, si angle DCA daw naman ay 4X plus 10. Okay? Now, next, yun yung given natin. Angle ABD, the measurement of angle ABD is equal to 5X plus 3. And the measurement of angle DCA is equal to 4X plus 10. Our relationship natin. What is the relationship between between angle ABD and angle ACD? So, as you can observe, si angle ABD at saka si angle ACD, meron silang iisang intercepted arc. 
Okay? Anong intercepted arc nilang pareho? Ito. Sabi ng theorem, ang dalawang angle daw magiging congruent kapag pareho ang kanilang intercepted arc. Okay? So, therefore, tanggalin na natin yung word ng relationship natin. So, therefore, angle ABD is congruent to angle ACD. So, ibig sabihin, kung anong sukat nito, yun din ang sukat nito. Okay? Kasi meron silang iisang intercepted arc. So, let's solve. Again, angle ABD is congruent to angle ACD. Therefore, the measurement of angle ABD is equal to the measurement of angle ACD. Reason, because they have the same intercepted arc. Okay? And the measurement of angle ABD is 5x plus 3. While the measurement of angle ACD is 4x plus 10. Next. After substituting, so substitute ka dyan, after that you have to combine. Pag sinabi natin combine, you have to combine like terms, okay? Si 5x, like term niya si 4x, kaso 4x will go to the other side, so it will become negative 4x. And then 10 will remain here, and then si 3 pupunta naman sa kabila, it will become negative 3. 5x minus 4x is x is equal to... 10 minus 3, 10 minus 3 is 7. So, therefore, x is equal to 7. So, si x dito ay 7. Next, this is number letter A. So, letter A natin ito. Letter B. What is now the measurement of angle A, B, D? So, solution natin. If x is equal to 7, then ito ay 5x plus 3. Then the measurement of angle ABD is equal to 5x plus 3. And then substitute. So we have 5 times 7 plus 3. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 3. That is 38. So, 38 yun. So, si yung sukat ni angle ABD is 38. So, ito ay 38. Next, letter C. Remember that uh, angle ABD is congruent to angle DCA. Therefore, si DCA ay 38 then So, paano mapapatunayang 38 din yon The measurement of DCA is equal to 4x plus 10. If x is equal to 7. Okay? Patunayan natin na 38 yon So, if that's the case, then the measurement of angle uh, DCA is equal to 4x plus 10. Uh, substitute x with 7. So, 4 times 7 yon plus 10. So, 4 times 7 is 28 plus 10, that is 38. Okay? So, it is now proven that the measurement of angle DCA and the measurement of angle uh, ABD are congruent because they intercept the same arc. Okay? Now, next, si arc AD naman. Si arc AD. So, anong sukat nito? Itong arc natin dito. Okay? So, letter D, arc AD, the measurement, letter D, two-way naman tayo dito. The measurement of arc uh, DC, or AD, should I say AD, is equal to uh, the measurement of angle ABD. Times 2. Times 2. Or, the measurement of arc AD is twice as the measurement of angle ABD. Okay? 
So that is 2 times 38 and 2 times 38 is equal to 76. 76. So that is now the measurement of arc AD. 76. Okay, now your turn. You will be answering item number 5. Ganun, ganun din ba siya? Yeah, ganun din. Kaso pinalitan lang yung given. Okay? Ayun, so kayo nang bahala. Answer items 1, 3, and 5. 